Hey viewers, it's Thursday and you know what that means. I'm Grizz and here's some new flavor for your ear. Clay Porter is currently locked in his office, fogging up the windows and monitor, editing the final episode of 4x3. He kept a brief on the phone today, so that means he's stressed out. Deadlines will do that to a man. I really don't know how I've managed to keep the hair on my head all these years. Keep your eyes peeled for the final installment of 4x3 dropping real soon. In other news, mountain biking is gearing up for full-blown enduro mode. This week alone, two new enduro race series have been announced. Starting right here in California, IA, the Golden State can expect a four-race enduro series spearheaded by Evan Turpin. The official schedule will be announced early next year, but for now you can visit CaliforniaEnduro.com and submit all the questions you want. Personally, I plan on submitting this question to Evan. Did T. Sage really end your mountain cross career back in 2005 when he sent you flying over a berm in Idaho? Or better yet, will enduro in California be considered a full contact sport? Full dudes in spandex bashing each other? You just never know. Specialized in SRAM announced their seven race enduro series held in Germany, Italy, Austria, and Switzerland. Specialized came in hot to snag the title sponsorship of the series while not giving into all this 650B or 27.5 hype. Despite the push from the rest of the industry to go 27.5 as the new standard in trail bike wheel size, Big Dog, Specialized, and Trek won't have any 27.5 or 650B to offer next year. Meanwhile, the rest of the industry, including Giant and Norco bikes, are going full throttle in preparation for the latest craze in mountain biking. 27.5 in America, 650B in Europe. And after getting my first taste of 27.5 wheels last week, it appears the Big S and Trek are going to be ass out on trail bike margins in 2013. Will consumers eat up the new wheel size, or will the big S and Trek just sit back quietly, wait for the FSR patent to expire, and take over every dealer on the planet in 2014? Whatever happens, Enduro is the great white hype closing out 2012, which leaves me with one question. Who is going to get hurt by this Enduro uprise? With the industry pushing so hard in the Enduro investment, what segment of our sport is going to suffer as a result? Food for thought, folks. That's the news for now. You've just been mind-freaked. For Decline Magazine, I'm Grizz, and today's circuit training has me one step closer to kicking down the front door with Crazy Leg. Enjoy your shred this weekend, and if you're in San Diego County, come see me at the Dark Timbers Warehouse sale from 10 to 4 this Saturday. I'll be slanging clothes for up to 70% off. Shameless plug, I know, but daddy's gotta eat, and you gotta stuff your stocking with something. So, once again, we'll see you here on Monday.